We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the goal, you know the, you know the thing. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot, uh, foot, foot, excuse me, foothills of the Himalayas with Xi Jinping. She knows, she knows so long as I see it denied, our freedom can never be secured. We'll never forget lying around and him, how he, and then us, him, him lying around, actually. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. That the percentage of women who register to vote and cast a ballot is consistently higher than the percentage of the men who do so. End of quote. Repeat the line. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver is here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! All right. Okity dokity. Party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. So last week, we saw the the fiasco with Hunter Biden being uh, charged, three counts. And now you can finally say that the laptop was real. After four years of saying it's real and everybody saying it's a lie, here's the question. The people that kept saying it's a lie, are you going to apologize? Like uh, Mr. Joe Scarborough and Mika. Yeah, are you guys going to apologize? Because I remember, I remember this clip four years ago. And talk about Facebook having problems and Twitter having problems with a story mm -hmm. that even the New York Post knew was a lie. They published a series of lies peddled to them by Rudy Giuliani, who admitted that nobody else would take it but Rupert Murdoch's New York Post, because they might look into it and tell the truth. Yeah. Are you guys going to apologize? Nah, of course not. Of course not. Because we're just stupid American folks that are being duped by the Russians, right? You are the smart guys. You and your Mika over there. You guys are the smart ones over there. Us. Regular folks are just dumb as hell. We being led by Fox News, Rush Limbaugh, and the likes. Because you guys are the smart ones. Here we are in 2020. This is what it's come down to, America. Giuliani is feeding Russian misinformation to Donald Trump and reading, feeding Russian disinformation to the New York Post. They know it's a lie. You know what Rudy Giuliani should do? He should sue the pants off you guys. Now, we had Hunter Biden try to sue uh, uh, Rudy Giuliani for defamation. And moments after he got the verdict, he pulls, he pulls the lawsuit. I wonder why. Hunter Biden is agreeing to dismiss a lawsuit he brought against former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani and his one-time attorney, Robert Costello, over allegations they unlawfully hacked the first son's computer data. Biden's attorney, Abby Lowell, signed off on the suit's dismissal, as did Giuliani and Costello, according to a court filing. Right. Giuliani should sue the hell out of Joe Scarborough and the likes. Since, since he got sued over uh, that Georgia case not too long ago, he should turn it around and start suing the hell out of Joe Scarborough, Hunter Biden, everybody who mentioned his name. This has got to stop. You folks got to stop. Yeah, well, the New that's York where we are in 2020. It's the New York just, Post just, to, just to let you know that they're still talking they're to Russians. Themselves. And by the way, Russian hoax, come on. Joining really, seriously, now. history history will expose you all as fools and useful idiots for the Russians. It's the, the, it, the, for four years now, for four years now, there has been a line from Russian agents 
into the campaign. It's unbelievable how how stupid you think Americans are, how stupid you think Americans are for for you can just say Russian hoax. <laughs> Seriously, it's the idiocy, the sheer idiocy. <laughs> You are revealed right now, but you will be revealed throughout history for basically running cover for Russians. And it's so pathetic. You guys are so pathetic. You know, after the court verdict, look at this Joe Scarborough just, just slobbing it up. Look at this guy here. When we see these pictures of Hunter Biden now, after the conviction, going around hugging everybody, cheering them up, cheering them up, being the one to say it's going to be OK, hugging his father in an embrace that is 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 so is, is so moving. Um, the voters who are going to decide this can see into the eyes of these people. They can see them together. They can see the love in this family. This is a man who's been through so much. Look at him now. Look at where he has come. And anyone who wants to beat the shit out of a man who has been struggling through addiction and has come out on the other side, man, that's somebody who is going to gain the wrath of a lot of voters. He goes off and says, oh, look at this love story about the father and his son love. He loves his family. And look how this, he hugging his folks. And anybody who says anything about somebody who with addiction problems, you're a piece of shit. Golly. This is so obvious. You guys are horrible. Now we know MSNBC is part of the Democrat Party, but golly, Joe, get off your knees, sir. You're just over there slobbing. Golly, dude. Man, what kind of man are you? What kind of media is this? This is the one nobody pay attention to, y'all. This is why everybody's tuning you guys out. Joy Reid, Rachel <laughs> Mom, uh, what's his name? Rachel, Rachel Mad Cow, whatever her name is. All of y'all, horrible. First you say we were, first you say that New York Postal Lion. Now the state of, uh, of Delaware used the same evidence to convict your boy. No apologies. No retractions, nothing. None of that. None of the sorts. None of that. You guys are right. None of that. The day he get the verdict, you over there have this, this just drippy, sappy story about fatherly love. Oh my God. Aww. I don't see why people still listen to you. Why are you still on the air? Ugh, this is horrible. Anyway, I'm sick to my stomach. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you reporters, ugh, get your ass off my lawn.